This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news, all right? So we got Rowdy Rebel going at it with academics over Takashi. Now, Takashi um, basically, you know, we know academics and Takashi are tight friends. And Rowdy Rebel hates Takashi because he's from New York, representing New York, but also, you know, he snitched. You know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of people... Especially from the streets, that's just like obviously we know that's a no no, right? But Takashi, I look at that whole thing, and I don't think Rowdy Rebel would look at it like that. But I don't, I never looked at it like he was from like Takashi's not from the streets, you know, he was raised in that environment, but he didn't have those codes and morals in him. Those guys put him down with their, you know, with the gang to sell records to, to, to get in the industry and everything else, you know, and it, and, and it worked. You know, they didn't all, like, benefit from the records, but they all benefited from the popularity. And they kind of used them, and then when they were done with them or they weren't like everything, they tried to, you know, force him to do things. A form of extortion, in a way. And, you know, they were... I think Shadi slept with, you know, Takashi's baby mom. So much other stuff happened, you know, where why would you have any loyalty to them? Now, Rowdy Rebel and, and Bobby Shmurda, that's different. Those guys are like family. And what Bobby Shmurda did for Rowdy Rebel, taking more time so Rowdy Rebel got less time, is amazing. I mean, that's what two brothers would do for each other. But were they in a situation where they could have snitched on people? I don't know. You know, like, like if you have nothing to offer, if you have nothing to offer, you're going to get no deal because you have nothing to offer. You can't just blindly just snitch on, you know what I mean? Like... I guess, I guess, like uh, in, in the case of that, Bobby Shmurda could have put put it off on Rowdy Rebel or somebody else, but he didn't. You know, he did the right thing. But they also weren't facing football numbers at that point. You know, they were doing like you know six to nine years. You know, so when Rowdy Rebel compares the two, you can't because this is how I look at it. You have to have something to offer to be able to even snitch in the first place. Takashi had everything to offer. You know, he's been he had been around everything and who knows what someone would do in a situation where they have something to offer and they could get less time. Maybe Rowdy Rebel had nothing to offer these the the feds, you know? So like there was no deal on the table. And if there's no deal on the table, there's no deal on the table, you know? Like, there was a deal on the table for Takashi. So, like, don't think just, like, everyone's, like, a stand-up person when they go in and they don't come and they, and they don't snitch because sometimes they have nothing to snitch on, you know? They have nothing to snitch about. Maybe people, other people already pled out and then there's nobody to, like, snitch on anymore, you know? So, like, I always look at these. You have to look at all these situations case in point. And in Takashi's case point, he didn't grow up with these guys or anything. So that's why Rowdy Rebel was so adamant about, I know he's going to snitch. Now, Rowdy Rebel has other problems. 22 G's is just like super thirsty to beef with him. Uh, Dissing him every chance he gets. And I wonder if he addresses that on that interview. I didn't watch the whole interview yet with academics, but he Rowdy Rebel went off on academics because he's so against snitching. And I, I am too, but it's just... That situation with Takashi was just weird, man. I gotta be honest. It was, it was a weird, spooky situation that uh, you could look at it many different ways. Just like that new Jay Z bar, where he could be dissing Birdman, or he could talk about moving birds, or he could talk about this. He could be talking about spending bird money, meaning how much a, you know, bird it, you know, key is. But it's like, come on, man. You know, it's like you could look at a lot of situations a different way, but. At the end of the day, I mean, our, you know, Takashi's a rat. You know, he's a, he told. And, you know, but I don't know if he should have, like, was he supposed to have <clears throat> honor with those guys when he wasn't doing the dirt with, you know, all, all the stuff with them, you know? I don't know. Like, as far as the coup to B thing, that was really messed up. See, I, if I look at the shoddy, okay, I look at each one different. Like, the coup to B thing... That was foul. The shoddy thing, eh. And, you know, first of all, no. and what I love is Rowdy Rebel doesn't point out, but why is Jim Jones free? Nobody questions that. 
You know, like he should be questioning that too. Anyways, it is what it is. Um, Because Jim Jones was all on that paperwork. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Smash that like button and I'll check you guys on the next one. Peace.